Hey, so let's work on getting our hips involved in our flying, okay? This happens a lot in set tricks when you are trying to get into a position on the front end and you really gotta lift your hips up. But it can also be really helpful in back end tricks like a straddle or a split where you're still trying to get your hips to the bar. This exercise is great for someone who's working on a knee hang or a whip or something else where you're bringing your hips up to the bar as much as you can and rocking into that position, okay? So we're gonna start in very, we're gonna have various uh, variations, okay? We're gonna start with our knees bent, all right? So you're gonna start hanging like you're hanging on a bar. And then when you're ready, you're gonna think about bringing your knees to your nose as much as possible and rolling backwards. Okay, my arms are above my head so that I do not roll on my neck. It's super important not to just like throw your body over your head because, you know, your cervical spine, your neck is super delicate. Keep those hands up there to block out. So, when you're ready, you bring your knees up and hips up and back down and up and down. And if you're working on something with straight legs, you can do that too. Legs up and down and up and down. And then, if you're working on, say, like, a hawk style knee hang, you can bring your legs up to straddle. So, up and down. And if you're really wanting to work on that hawk style knee hang, think about bringing your legs up in the shape of a Y, together, then open and around. So, thinking together, open hips up and down. Together, hips up and down. And really working on that path of motion of getting those hips up and inverting them above your head a little bit, okay? Again, keep those arms above your head. You don't want to put all your weight on your head or on your neck. You want to keep it on your shoulders because shoulders are a lot stronger than necks, okay? Happy flying!